what would it mean in your personal life if you could gain back an additional five, 10, or even 15 minutes back in your personal life or for your business to help grow your business? That Stay tuned. That is what we're talking about today. And the tool that we're going to be using is Zapier. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a couple basic zaps that are going to give you time back to focus on more important tasks in your business. Hey guys, I'm Josh with Relentless Digital, home service marketing company. Um, and this video is designed to help you start learning and start diving into Zapier and the power behind automating tasks in your business. So one of the ones that um, is, has really helped us and it's super simple to set up. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to zapier.com you're, for this zap, you are going to need to get an account. It's $19.99, I believe. I don't know if I have the page up here, but it's $19.99 for a, the starter pack, which allows you up to like 750 tasks a month. Now, if you set the zap up and you get a ton more reviews, then you may need to go to the step up. I have a plan that's way above that because I help some clients and stuff with this stuff as well. So the zap we are going to set up today is... When you get a review, we are going to filter those reviews, and then we are going to create replies that automatically go to your Google My Business profile. So the reason that this one is important is because I see this all the time. I do audits for people's websites and their Google Maps profiles. And what I see is that they get reviews, and they're really good at getting reviews, and the reviews are great. However, they don't reply to them. Now, this isn't necessarily a ranking factor, but Google has made it known that within 24 to 72 hours of um, getting a review, they want you to respond to that. They want to see the company's response to that. And the reason is because that means you're an active business. You care about your customers. So think about it from Google's point of view. That means that you are a good business that cares. That's who they want to show to the people doing the search results. Okay, so with that being said, not only that, from a conversion point of view, if you've ever gone and looked at restaurant reviews or reviews for another business and you see either A, they don't respond, or B, it's thank you for the review and their first name, you and then you go to a competitor and a competitor has got three, four, five sentences of uh, a nice review with um, their name, maybe what the service was, um, and just more personal touch to that. So there is a way to automate that, and that's what we're going to get into right now. So the first thing, once you have your account set up, you are going to go to make a zap. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a trigger. So essentially what a trigger is, a trigger is something that all of your action is based on. So once this happens, then the next step can happen. So we're just going to type in Google My Business. And we're going to, the only trigger event that they have is a new review. Okay. So new review, continue. It's going to ask you to choose your account. So you're going to have to log into your Google My, the account that has your Google My Business location. So for me, it's this one. And location, I'm just going to search. You guys should probably only have one or two. Maybe some of you guys may have a few more. And continue and it's gonna test your trigger super easy step it's gonna find a uh, one of your most recent reviews if you want to test this with a different review or maybe one that you know you have not responded to just click on the little arrows here and choose a different one okay so you'll see some information here it'll have the star rating the comment and if you left a comment so for me I've already responded to all my reviews so I don't have a good example but this is how you would do it. So then you would continue. The next step I use, and this is the reason you need the 1999 account because you need to filter your reviews. And when you filter this, so think of this as a way to kind of segment your reviews. Now, a couple really common basic ways for you to do this would be to go in here, you're gonna choose your field, First thing I always choose is my five-star reviews. So I want to I 
continue only if the review is a five-star review. So in the text contains five stars and the comment or the reviewer's feedback exists. Okay, so if for some reason someone left us a four star or a one star review, this will not happen. This is how you can kind of, you can maybe start to picture how you can scale this to other reviews. Okay, so this will tell us that this app would have continued because it meets this criteria. The next step, we click on the little plus icon here, go back to Google My Business and choose an action event. And there's only one to choose from, it's create reply. Okay, and again, you're gonna match this up with your business location. The review name, you want to make sure that you choose this. It's just gonna match right here. So this is your review name. This is a required field, so make sure you match that up. And then this is where you are going to put your comment in. So I do have this done already, and I'll show you just what my reply is so you can see. So. I always start with the reviewer name. You can put the reviewer name somewhere else because it's it creates that personal touch. And Matt, if you're watching this, since you're going to get this video too, um, <laughs> this is uh, this is kind of what your review uh, response would say. So, thank you so much for the five star review and feedback. We appreciate the time you took to review our services. We pride ourselves on delivering the absolute best digital marketing services in the home service industry. I look forward to continuing to build your company's reputation and dominate your market. Probably good I'm looking at this as I can't put uh, my punctuation there. And then you can, you can put a name here or you can, you can put really whatever you want. So that's the first one that I created. Once you are done, um, this is going to go ahead. You can turn this on and move on to the next one. So I've also created the same exact setup. The only difference is, I'll go back and show you. So this was a five-star review with a comment. And then I also have a five-star review without a comment. Because what we really want to portray is that people that leave us a comment, we want them to, uh, we probably want to leave a little bit more of a review for them because they have taken the time to actually give us feedback. So I also filter by comment does not exist. And just as a side note, so you can also create, if somebody, if you, if you go to your reviews and you see, and I'm just gonna go to one that I know has a lot of comments and stuff like that. Go to our reviews. And if you see that you, you get a lot of reviews that say something about your professional, like this, maybe has professionalism in it or humidifier or furnace, plumbing, something that is a very easy keyword to segment by and somebody's talking about that, you can always say um, and filter by, <clears throat> you can do by comment and text contains, you know, plumbing or furnace, humidifier, installation, something to that effect. So that way you can take not only what I'm doing and expand on it. So that way, when people look at your comments, they, they see more than two review responses, okay? So hopefully this is helpful for you and can help automate some things in your business because even doing this, I know some of you guys out there get, I've seen some of you guys post on Facebook that are gonna get this email. You get sometimes five reviews a day, think about, Every single time you have to think about a response, you have to make sure it gets done. Otherwise, what happens is, let's say if you're getting two, you're getting two reviews a day, it's 10 a week, 40 a month, which is about what we were doing at Professional Services. We were getting about 30 to 40 a month. I fell behind all the time. So I was constantly looking for a way to automate this process so that way I would never get behind on it and I could focus on other things such as email marketing, building our brand, SEO, um, operations, training our guys, uh, working on conversions, stuff like that. So hopefully this is insightful and helpful for you. Uh, please leave some comments below in the video as I love to hear from you guys and it definitely helps 
kind of motivate me to make more content like this so you can continue to keep your overhead down, increase the amount of automations you have that help you stay on top of the important stuff instead of getting bogged down with the stuff that frankly is a pain in the butt to do. So like the video, comment, give me give me some feedback, maybe give you some feedback on something else you'd like to see, a different zap or a possibility of another zap, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.